NASCAR driver Tony Stewart in hot water this morning just as he's about to return to the track before retiring at the end of this season. Officials now fining Stewart $35,000 for questioning NASCAR's commitment to safety. ABC's Ryan Smith is here with details. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Lara. He's been out of competition since cracking his vertebrae in January, but NASCAR finding Stewart before his rubber even hits the road after he spoke out against the policy he thinks puts drivers in harm's way. This morning, just as Tony Stewart is announcing his comeback from an off-track injury, he's already causing a blowout among race fans and officials. It should be outperforming the other teams, not, not jeopardizing drivers' lives. Taking NASCAR to task over a new policy, loosening restrictions on pit crews who mount tires with one or more of their lug nuts missing. They're putting competition before safety, and that's something I can't believe that NASCAR is, has let happen. The three-time Sprint Cup champion is no stranger to controversy, famously brawling in the pits and in the stands. I've made a career out of doing things I wasn't supposed to do. In 2014, an alleged confrontation with a fellow dirt track racer led to Stewart's car hitting and killing Kevin Ward Jr. The crash ruled an accident, and Stewart was never charged with a crime. But now, smoke is drawing the line at the NASCAR rule change, which took effect last season, telling the Charlotte Observer, you will not have heard a rant that's going to be as bad as what comes out of my mouth if a driver gets hurt because of a loose wheel that hurts one of them. NASCAR says new technology and camera systems have led to officials being less needed in that area of the track, which means the organization is relying on team owners and crews to enforce tire mounting safety requirements. And other legendary drivers are getting nervous too. I'm one of the guys who's freaked out by it. I've had a few come off and, and it's, it never ends well. NASCAR fined Stewart for, quote, disparaging the sport and or NASCAR's leadership, but the Sprint Cup Drivers Council will pay part of his fine. As for the driver they call Smoke, he's focused on racing, announcing on Twitter Thursday he'll return to the track this weekend, adding, I can't wait to race, hashtag Smoke will rise. Oh, wow. He's ready to go. Yes. Right. Wow. All right, thank you, Ryan.